We propose silent spelling as an alternative to silent speech to enable text entry in situations where speech may be difficult or socially inappropriate. Now, we characterize our silent speller prototype and compare its use in live text entry studies to participants' smartphone text entry skills. Now, we conclude with plans to create a device that improves sensing and is fully contained within the mouth for more discreet use. Voice control provides hands-free access to computing and has become part of everyday life through smart speakers and smartphones. However, there are many situations where interaction through audible speech is not appropriate. Now, for example, talking using voice-based interaction while in a meeting or a classroom is disruptive and considered socially rude. In addition, Mobile users often avoid using speech interfaces in public places to avoid disturbing others or calling attention to themselves. Instead, they type on their smartphone, which can affect situation awareness while on the move. Silent speech recognition could help address these problems for the general public. However, the greatest benefit may be for people with movement disorders who rely on speech recognition. Our work is motivated by the following scenario, composited from situations described to one of the authors while consulting. Kim is a project manager for a large software company that maintains an open office plan where many employees work in the same room with adjacent desks. Unfortunately, Kim's muscular dystrophy has weakened her hands so that she can no longer type her emails and documents. Speech recognition could help, but it would distract her colleagues at neighboring desks and raise privacy and security concerns given her managerial role. Kim is now searching for a text entry method, which will maintain her efficacy and allow her to sit with her team. Silent speech would be an excellent text entry method for Kim. However, silent speech recognition is a very difficult task. In most previous work, vocabulary has been limited to less than 100 words. Another difficulty is that most previous silent speech systems are sensitive to movement, which may make them unusable for people with uncontrollable tremors or movements, such as occurs with multiple sclerosis. On-the-go use of these systems is impractical. Many previous silent speech systems also require wired interfaces that can draw undesired attention to the user. Silent Speller is an alternative to silent speech. The user spells words, but instead of saying words audibly, they spell without voicing. S-I-L-E-N-T-S-P-E-L-L-E-R The silent speller enables large vocabularies, is highly tolerable to movement, and future designs have the potential to be completely contained in the mouth. Our first question was whether silent spelling might be useful and usable as an interface. We employed six users to enter text from the McKenzie phase set using silent speech, emulated silent spelling, and standard smartphone text entry with an on-screen mini QWERTY keyboard. As we expected, emulated silent speech was by far the fastest with an average of 115 words per minute. Emulated silent spelling averaged 38.7 words per minute, and mini QWERTY averaged slightly lower at 36.6. The 95% confidence interval for the difference in means showed silent spelling between 7.5 words per minute slower and 11.8 words per minute faster than mini QWERTY. Now we also compared subjective ratings on the NASA Task Load Index. The graphs compare the difference between the methods for each subscale. Negative values indicate that the first technique in the comparison was rated with a lower workload than the second. Again, silent speech dominates, but silent spelling has similar ratings as normal smartphone typing. This result seems especially promising as our motivating scenario involves people who otherwise may not be able to type due to motor disorders. Given these results, we decided to continue developing silent speller. We selected a dental retainer with 124 captive touch sensors to track tongue movement. The device is commercially available and is custom made based on the user's dental impression. It fits tightly to the top of the user's mouth. One benefit of this custom fit is that we saw a little effect of session dependency. Data for each person in the following experiments was collected over the course of months in many different locations and scenarios 
and no calibration was needed. Silent Speller did not seem to suffer from the repeatability issues often seen due to sensor placement with other methods. We used data from two early participants to tune a hidden Markov model user-dependent recognizer. To create a training corpus, we used the dictionary from the Mackenzie Sokharov phrase set, which is used in many text entry experiments. Two participants collected all 1,164 words twice for a total of 2,328 samples. Tenfold cross validation testing with 1,164 word dictionary revealed that best results occurred at 100 Hz sampling and with 16 principal components. After 1,500 example words, there seems to be little improvement in recognition. Accuracy peaked at 97% per character, and surprisingly, good results can be obtained with just 500 examples. We also tested on unseen words by holding out both examples of 100 random words from the 1,164 word dictionary. Results suggest that the recognizer may generalize well to larger dictionaries. Both participants tested silent speller while walking and sitting. Surprisingly, both participants showed higher accuracy while walking, and both could demonstrate live text entry with the system many months after their first training data was collected. The following videos show silent speller being used in environments where speech recognition would be inappropriate or would be inaccurate due to too much noise. The recognition in these videos is being performed live and in real time. Formal testing of our live test entry system involves prompting users with a phrase, which they try to enter by silent spelling one word at a time. The system provides a five best list for each attempt. The user can accept the top word simply by starting to spell the next word. Otherwise, the user can scroll down the end best list by swiping the tip of their tongue from the front of the palate to the back. Pushing the tongue against the entire palate erases a word. Seven participants compared the live silent speller system to smartphone texting in three 20-minute sessions. Participants were prompted with 107 random phrases from the McKenzie phrase corpus. These participants first provided 1,000 words of training data, and we limited the live text entry dictionary to the 321 words that compose the 107 phrase subset. The participants used their own smartphones for normal text entry, which included auto spell but not auto complete. Silent spellers speed averaged 37 words per minute with 87% character accuracy, while participants' mini QWERTY rates averaged 48 words per minute with 93% accuracy. Average text entry speed was very similar between the live silent speller system and the emulated system described in the pilot study. However, the 48 words per minute for mini QWERTY is more than 30% faster than the pilot study. This difference may be attributed to the fact that the live text entry participants were more experienced mini QWERTY texters. Even so, silent speller's speed seems promising, especially given that a recent survey of 37,000 mini QWERTY texters showed an average speed of 36 words per minute. An analysis of silent speller's accuracy per character showed that letters pronounced with an EE -E sound, such as B, P, T, V, and Z, were most likely to be confused. This result is unsurprising in that lip movement helps differentiate these letters, and the smart palate does not sense lip movement. Current hardware improvements seek to add sensing for the lips and to create a wireless version of Silent Speller that can be placed entirely in the mouth. Thank you for your attention.